Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and please no, please no, do not force me to deal with Daniels. I'm going to be forced to deal with Daniels, aren't I? We've detected significant temporal activity in the Glorndon core system, circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer. A doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. Vessel from the future, yeah right. I'm using a constitution. An original constitution at that. <sighs> I have wanted a ship like this for such a long time, and now Cryptic has deigned to give it to me. Well, really, not give, but you get the idea. I finally have a tier 6 Connie, and I'm happy. <sighs> I am such a happy person right now. I would be happier if I didn't have to deal with Daniels. I'll see you on the ground. Well, at Galorian Core. This should be fun. Oh, the irony. <laughs> Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. <sighs> I have to work with this incompetent twit again? Shoot me now. You know, this is probably going to be one of the few times I ever get to fly with a Talis class ship that's legitimately tier 6. So I'm going to enjoy this, even if it's just a skin. Shiar vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. IRW Morari, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Data received, Marary. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the Director will want to greet you personally. machines seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just sitting there, peacefully. 
It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. Shut up and jump out an airlock, Daniels. I don't want you anywhere near me. See you at the briefing. This area is restricted. You need to leave. Now. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one, not even Chulak himself. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted, sir. Y yes, Subcommander, at once. Uh, forgive my rudeness. Uh, access granted. Let me get the door for you. Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song to be sure, but she sings it sweetly. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-stabbed captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. Krog arrives tomorrow, along with her reportedly improved weapon. I believe the Envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. To endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus, or face annihilation. Of course, however, even a cornered beast knows when it has lost. Greetings, Subcommander. 
I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. This one shall, Subcommander. Beyond measure. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You, you have, have nothing, nothing to, to fear, fear from, from the machine, machine my, my friend. friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so, Commander. Soon, the Doomsday Machine will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises. Guards, deal with them. Well, time to deal with the Romulans. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all day. Well, I guess this is what happens when you put rep equipment on your bridge officers as well as your primary tune. That, um... <laughs> it makes everything almost trivial. Join my army of the Borg. And let my drones mop up the rest while I steal the Nikul's <laughs> toy. trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. You have ten seconds to get off my ship via the airlock, Daniels. You're so bloody incompetent I wouldn't trust you with a pencil sharpener! For the weapon, Chulak. 
feel the wrath of my TOS constitution. <laughs> Shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. It's firing indiscriminately. Blarg! Enough! It's only a matter of time before that thing destroys the planet! All ships! Destroy the Doomsday Weapon and the cool ships! Now! The fabled Romulan treachery at last. You'll regret this too often. Romulan attack wing. Fire torpedoes into that thing's fall. All ships, protect the planet from that machine at all costs! Um, no, 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 no. Your ship is about to be full for the beast. That's it. Wait. What's happening? The machine. It's on a collision course. No. No. Call integrity below seven. Well, there's an extinction event. <laughs> Oops. ship must have detonated within the doomsday machine. 
disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a Pyrrhic victory at best. Oh, look, an improvement. An uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. Well, that was somewhat fun, other than constantly dealing with Daniels. We stopped them this time, at great cost. Clearly, the Nakul and their leader, this envoy, are willing to do anything to win this war, even commit genocide. It's unfortunate that Chulak didn't stand up to the Nakul sooner. It might have prevented this tragedy today. Congratulations, Admiral. House Coat Gaming, signing off.